What's up guys, iApple Tuber here and in today's video with iOS 13 being out I'm going to go ahead and show you all how to pair your Xbox or your PlayStation controller to your iPhone or iPad and to be able to play the games with a controller. So I know a lot of people do not know how to do that or do not even know that this function exists. So with this video I'm trying to bring awareness to that and also to show you how to pair it and to also show a game that works with the controller as a proof. So let's get started. Very simple. So with the video today, I'm going to use my Xbox One controller, which is a Bluetooth wireless controller. Let me just show you right here. So I'll be using this controller to pair it. So very simple. All you want to do is go to the settings. Once in settings, you want to go to the Bluetooth. Once in the Bluetooth, turn on your Bluetooth and just wait for it. Next, let me just put this down. Go on your controller and turn it on. Even if it's on PlayStation, just turn it on. Wait for it to flicker. And then you want to uh, click on the pair button right here. It's a pair button, click on it, even with the PlayStation, click on the pair button, put your controller down and it should be able to find it now on the iPhone or iPad. Let's just give it a few seconds. And right there, as you can see, Xbox wireless controller. So click on it and once you do, it is connected. There, as you can see, it's connected. Now we can go and play the games. But make sure once again, this only works on iOS 13. All right, so as you can see right now, I'm on the iPad Pro, which is now on iPad OS 13.1 beta. So if you wanna play on your iPad, make sure you get the 13.1 beta. So the same procedure, go to settings, turn on Bluetooth and pair your controller very simply. Once again, pair it, wait for it to flicker. Right there, as you can see, Xbox wireless controller. Click on it and we have connected it successfully. So as you can see right here, when you're using the D-pad to move it, it's actually moving on the iPad screen. As you can see, it is moving with me clicking and flickering. That means it works. So click on touch anywhere and right here, I'm gonna show you that it's actually working. So let's just wait for this ads to go away and then I can start showing you that it actually works with the controller. So when you click on, click on A, it actually starts to move on the uh, iPad right there, as you can see. So let's get this special ability right here. And I just want to show you that's actually working. So with pressing A, you can actually move it. And also with pressing X, you can pause the game, which is pretty good. So yeah, I'm not gonna sit and play the game right now on the video, but I just wanted to show you that this actually does work. All right, so I'm gonna also let you guys know that in the description, I'll leave a link which shows all the games which work with iOS 13 that support controllers. So make sure to check that out before you wanna play it. That's it with today's video. I hope that you did enjoy this video. Please make sure to leave a like and as well subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Much more content dropping very soon. I, Apple Tuber here, signing off.